Hello, I'm Nini Mulifi, CEO of Mandate Mulifi Consultants. I'd like to talk to you about our Unconscious Bias Workshop. So what is Unconscious Bias? Unconscious Bias is defined as hidden inclination or preference that influences our judgments from being even-handed, balanced or fair. The operative word here is hidden because we are not even aware that this is happening, totally out of your control. But the fact that we're talking about unconscious bias, it presupposes that there is conscious bias. Conscious bias is when you are in full awareness, I may be discriminating against someone, but I'm fully aware that I'm doing it. So it's readily within your consciousness. In this series, however, we are addressing the unconscious bias. So as opposed to your conscious brain, your unconscious brain is more reflexive, intuitive, automatic. It does not engage or analyze detail. It does not engage rational thought. Whereas the conscious brain will be more reflective. You think more about your action. You think more about what is in your mind before you do it. So unconscious bias is what we are focusing on right now because it does not even give you a minute to think about it. Unconscious bias can also be at odds with your rational beliefs. What do I mean by this? I may be a gender activist and I believe in gender equity and gender mainstreaming, but my unconscious brain may actually believe the narrative that women are emotional, women are less capable than men, women are soft, or on the other extreme, that women are aggressive if they come across in an assertive way. That's more in your unconscious mind. Your rational belief would be different. You will actually be in the forefront of fighting women and uh, uh, trying to bring about women equity in the workplace. This is where the challenge comes with regards to unconscious bias. Now you may argue that does unconscious bias then give me an excuse to continue discriminating against people because you have said that it is not in my awareness, I'm not doing it deliberately. No, it does not give you an excuse. Hence when we talk about the dialogue and the workshops that we hold on unconscious bias to help people get to grips with how to approach the challenge, this issue of unconscious bias.